Hello there and um, welcome to my uh, take a hike vlog number 11 for August 2021 hope you've all had a, a great month Ooh, getting attacked by bees um, I'm just down on my local patch today just uh, hoping to get some footage of dragonflies and uh, damselflies as well as the river there's a few um, nice ponds down around the area so I'm going to check those out although it's a bit of an overcast day so I'm not sure I'll have much luck I've seen some great footage of uh, dragonflies on YouTube in the last uh, month or so um, and also a lovely photograph um, on Chris JB's Instagram you quite a few a few of you are probably aware of Chris's channel uh, on YouTube lovely channel uh, I'll put a link below but uh, yeah uh, check it out he's uh, you know great YouTube channel uh, mainly on wild camping but also um, yeah a really uh, handy photographer as well um, but we'll see how I get on so uh, had a great month last month um, we got out uh, in the camper van again for a, a weekend and uh, also you should have seen by now uh, got out for a wild camp testing out the new uh, DD super light tarp tent uh, which I'm really pleased with like any tent of that sort of single skin design there's always like compromises between ventilation and um, condensation but uh, yeah overall really pleased with it and um, yeah hoping to get out for some more adventures uh, before winter sets in you can already uh, kind of feel the onset of autumn uh, coming up filming this uh, just before the August bank holiday and um, we're just going away locally for the bank holiday a nice little site not too far away um, so but there's nice walking nearby so should hopefully uh, get some uh, video out of that for you um, what else have we got and then the week after that we're heading down to North Wales um, no mountains this time although we should get some nice mountain scenery uh, just having a couple of nights in better see Coed sorry Welsh people um, and then heading over to Anglesey and um, probably you know staying in a couple of different spots and doing a couple of stretches of the uh, um, Isle of Anglesey coastal path to be honest when we were um, planning the Anglesey trip I had hoped to um, stay on a couple of off-grid locations um, there's you know there's plenty of them that you can find by looking at other people's videos and uh, uh, park for night and all of those sort of websites but um, yeah looking at the, the sites a lot of them have now come up with no overnight parking signs um, which is a bit unfortunate and it, it you know it, it made me really have a, a, a real think about um, if that's Anglesey Council's attitude to having camper vans there then should I really bother? And you know, we spend plenty of money in the you know the local economy in pubs and uh, restaurants and shops and all of that sort of thing. We can quite happily spend that elsewhere. But um, anyway, we've been fancying going down there for a while. I spent uh, you know many holidays down there as a child, so it's a place that I do love. Um, so we'll we'll go and give it a go, and we're we're staying. We've booked a couple of campsites, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you think. I know I'm sure a lot of these sites must put up with a lot of uh, antisocial behaviour from camper vans, but if they put in some facilities and um, allowed people to behave properly and then really clamp down on those that don't, then you know they'd encourage people to stay and encourage good behaviour. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. But uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Anyway. That's probably about it for this month. Uh, just a quick update. So uh, I'll get off about my business. See if I can track down, track down some uh, dragonflies. So uh, 
have a great month and uh, wish me luck with my uh, dragonfly videography. Cheers now, see you soon.